G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to give my first impressions on the GHK AUG A2. I only just bought this gas blowback very recently and I've only fielded it once but I'm really excited about its potential. I have to say I've been really wanting to add an AUG to my collection for a long time now so I'm really happy with this new addition. I do have a bit of a sentimental connection with the AUG uh, when I was in the Army Reserve in Australia. We trained on the Australian variant of it, the F-88 Ostaya back then. So it goes without saying that I have a real soft spot for this gun. I was really, really excited to field it and I thought, why not dust off my old Auscam uniform so that the look will be complete. All right, so now time for my thoughts on the replica. And let's kick things off with the looks of the replica. I think uh, GHK have done a really good job. Everything looks and feels really high quality. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the all black variant. I wanted to get the OD, but I couldn't find it in stock anywhere. And I was kind of sick of waiting to get an AUG. I might end up uh, painting this one, but I'm not really sure yet. As far as the scope that comes on it, I don't mind it. Personally, I think it's a little bit dated, but with the uh, red dot bracket that I got from Samoon, it actually looks pretty cool. But that being said, I'll probably end up trying to make a replica of the Ostaya variant that I trained with in the army. But I'll just leave that for a little bit later in the future. For now, I don't mind this setup too much. The red dot sits at a really comfortable height. Um, the scope is basically useless. I just It's just a bit too low and I can't really get a good sight picture with my face mask and helmet and GoPro in the way as well. I think I might have to raise it um, a little bit, uh, but we'll see about that as well. So overall, I would say it looks great and I'm really happy with the quality of the build. And now on to gameplay and how it performed the first time I fielded it. Two down, two down. Keep in mind, I've only fielded this replica once, so anything I say right now should be taken with a grain of salt. But I'm really happy to say that the GHK or performed fantastic help. out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. No upgrades whatsoever. I just tweaked it, got the hop up uh, shooting straight. And cleaned it, lubed it, and took it to the field. And it just performed great. One down, one down. Shooting straight as an arrow, really nice range. Uh, the performance, uh, the, as far as gas efficiency, everything was excellent. And I was hitting targets at like 40, 50 meters away, no worries. And after a full day of skirming, I was just happy <laughs> for the first time ever. Um, buying a brand new gas blowback, fielding it and having it perform perfectly uh, was just, yeah, yeah, it was just such a rare experience. I, I can't, can't begin to tell you guys how much I enjoyed that. He's down, he's down, I got him. Whoa, man, this AUG is shooting f***ing great. Did you get him from there? Yeah. What the f***? I hope I don't jinx it, but I have a really good feeling about this replica. I was planning on replacing the hop-up with the TNT hop-up and barrel combo, but after this first skirm, I don't see any reason why I should mess with anything. I did order from Samoon though a 14 inch barrel kit so that I can just swap it out for CQB, as well as a one jewel nozzle just in case the shorter barrel doesn't get me to CQB field limits. I have to say that playing with this gas blowback is a real pleasure. The recoil feels great. It's not the hardest kicking gas blowback I own, but it definitely has a nice kick. The rate of fire could be better, but that has to do with the AUG's bungee trigger, I guess which is gonna take a little bit of getting used to again. Mine's locked to single shot because I got it from Germany, but you're still able to rattle off quite a few quick shots. Um, just takes a little bit of getting used to that trigger. But my favorite thing about the AUG has to be the ergonomics. The weapon is so nicely balanced. It's just so easy to keep that gun up for long periods of time without getting tired because all the weight is obviously pushed further back. But it's just also so great to run with. I was just tucking it underneath my arm and sprinting without any worries or trouble at all. 
and it just felt so right. So in conclusion, this GHK could not have made a better first impression, one down, one and down. I can't wait to field it again. That's it for this video, guys. It's a little short, I know. Um, I'll definitely be doing a full review on this gun sometime in the future, after I've got enough time on it. But you can expect some cool gameplay to come out really soon with this beautiful gas blowback. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and see you on the next one.